Hello, I'm Andre, and I'll be discussing takeaway relaxations from the planning point of view and grants available to businesses in the Lancaster District. Lancaster City Council has not written to businesses formally, giving them an easement. Planning officers are available to support businesses should they make inquiries. Details of the legislative changes are as follows. The Town and Country Planning General Permitted Development England Order is a statutory instrument permitting certain types of development without the need for planning permission, including both physical development and changes of land use. This is to enable pubs, which are class A4, restaurants and cafes, which are class A3, to operate for the provision of takeaway food, which is class A5. Amendments to the order were laid before Parliament on the 23rd of March 2020 and came into force on the 24th of March 2020. The provision of takeaway food is interpreted as any use for the provision of hot or cold food that has been prepared for consumers for collection or delivery to be consumed, reheated or cooked by consumers of the premises. The change of use can be brought into force at any time between the 24th of March 2020 and the 23rd of March 2021 and is subject to the following conditions. The developer must notify the local planning authority that the land is being used for the provision of a hot food takeaway during this period. The use of the land for the provision of takeaway does not affect any pre-existing permissions. The use of the building and its land will revert to its previous lawful use at the end of the relevant period or earlier if the temporary use ceases before the 23rd of March 2021. Those wishing to benefit from the amended legislation must therefore notify the local planning authority to ensure the temporary use is lawful and must be aware that any physical changes associated with the temporary use are still likely to require planning permission, for example, the installation of an external flue. If those who take advantage of the takeaway relaxation during the pandemic want to apply for a more permanent A4 class post COVID, they are free to do so. A full change of use planning application would be required. However, there will be the usual consultation of statutory bodies and any neighbouring properties that may be affected by the proposal. As you will be aware, this gives the opportunity to those organisations and people to make comments if they wish, including any objections they may have. I would recommend to those applicants who may want to go down this route to submit a request for pre-application advice. Details of this are on the screen. For this type of proposal, level one advice will be sufficient, which includes a desk-based assessment of the proposal, resulting in our in principle summary position. If you go down this pre-application advice route, there is no consultation carried out with neighbouring properties. As an overview, there are three government grants available to businesses in Lancaster District. £10,000 grant for those in receipt of small business rate relief, a £10,000 grant for retail, hospitality and leisure businesses with rateable values up to £15,000. £25,000 grant for re retail, hospitality and leisure businesses with rateable values between £15,001 and £50,999. £2,018 grants have been issued to date. Potentially, 963 or 35% of businesses in the Lancaster District are still eligible to claim the grant. How, if you want to get in touch to discuss the application or have any queries, please contact the email address on screen. There are no restrictions on what these grants can be spent on, although it is classed as taxable income. Thank you for your time and I hope you found this presentation useful.